Hello everyone and welcome back to another Midland Mainline TSW video. Now I absolutely love this route now. It's really, really good since the update. And uh, Skyhook have done an amazing job to really turn around what was quite a meh route in the game. Uh, so let's get him. Uh, let's get, oh, it's already on. Uh, let's get the train set up uh, and then we shall get underway once also we have the signal and we have time. Uh, GSMR uh, we've got these bits on as well that's already on, that's good good, yeah, alright AWS cool, so I'm waiting for the uh, waiting for the road which is probably like a HST in front of us or something, so we've got to wait for that but just look out the window, I mean look at that now like, everything about this route has gone from meh to like you know, this is good Um yeah, I mean the colour of the ballast. But I know, I know the colour of the ballast. I know it's but one of those things where you think, really, you're gonna, you know, moan about that. But it used to be quite shiny. It used to be that really default UK colour. Where it's just shiny, and but I mean they're not. They're like this. Uh, I know that's what we're waiting for the HST coming across. It just looks so much better now. It's, it's it's a great route. <laughs> Probably for, yeah, from sort of one of the lower quality UK routes. One of those routes where you're like, oh, I don't really want to sort of play that really. To being like, you know, I want to play that route all the time. Especially thrown in with the cargo uh, cargo petroleum pack as well. That as well, sort of alongside the update, adding more freight and more to do. Perfect. Hopefully we don't have to close the doors for this to change. I've got a, I've got a sneaky suspicion it's going to be that though. We have to close the doors for it to change. Um, change. Let's see what's the time. Yeah, we're due out now. Hopefully it's not that, but I have got a feeling it will be that. So that anything coming in or anywhere? No. Oh, it's going to be that as well. Oh, let's do it. Let's, it's it's going to be. We're going to close the doors and then it will change. At least I think. I'm sort of hoping it's not like that, but it might be. Can't wait ages for the guard to do his thing. The guard's dispatching on a red. Yeah. Oh, my keyboard's not even plugged in. Uh, right, let's set that to uh, forward. Uh, we'll get that off. <coughs> uh, well, we just call it and just spawn. Uh, oh, long eater. We're not even supposed to spawn then. Okay. Uh, let's go. I'm just going to plug my keyboard back in. So I just did a video on the uh, on the East Coast Main Line in the 158, which was one of the most boring things ever. So there. Uh, It's nice to be on a much more exciting, much more exciting route where there's a bit more going on. I was on that route on the Sprinter services. It's 30, 35 minutes non-stop, nothing to look at. It just goes on and on. A bit like me going on and on about that route being a bit ugh, in the 158. They're very happy to be on here. I suppose we didn't really. Well, we haven't. I don't think we've done a sprint uh, a 158. So we've uh, the only thing you've seen of this updated route is in well the cargo petroleum uh, 66s. Um. So yeah, sit back, uh, relax, and enjoy the journey because it's such a nice route now. Like it's really. Nice. If you don't have this route. And you've sort of been like uh, on the fence about whether you get it or not. I mean, this video will probably most likely make you be like, you know, oh, I want that. And I'm going to be saying that quite a few times as well that it's a nice route. <coughs> right, up to uh, 75. There we go. 
And I thought I'd also do this in summertime as well. Because if we get winter, it's going to look a bit more bleakish. So I thought summer would sort of be the best time to do it in. So yeah, nice summer's morning service over to Nottingham. For a service bound for Newark Castle. I think this one was going to. Well, he's going to Newark Castle, but I think the front is Nottingham. I think that would probably be the next step on this route is to implement, um, or train really, is to implement manual PIS. So you can change it uh, on well, the system, I suppose. Get it to show you at Castle. Nice and quick, we're up to uh, 75. And I like the way Skyhack have gone back to update this because they could have, you know, just started making a new UK route and then sort of forgotten about this one. Um, so it's nice that they have, you know, done these changes. Um, and I sort of hope that Dovetail do the same thing for some of their older routes. Um, I mean, they have West Somerset Railway. Um, that's going to be getting all the new bits and bobs, TOD4 and new timetable. Uh, it's, not, it's nice to see when old routes are updated. As, I mean, some of the older routes are fantastic. But, you know, if they're up, updated, they're going to be even better. So it's nice to see that these changes um, are now being made. I mean, an updated old route is almost better than a whole new route. So like an updated Brighton mainline. That would be a whole lot better than a whole new route or updated East Coastway. I oh, know. Just seeing these routes updated to sort of the standards of now uh, is lovely to see. Because, yeah, in some ways, it's better than having um, a new route. It means you can sort of reconnect with the, old, with the older routes. Which, in a way, I suppose now can happen, as we've got a lot more. Um, third party developers now are working on um, TSW. Um, I suppose developers, like even Dovetail, can now take a bit more time to sort of go back and update older routes because you know they've still got other developers working on new routes. So they don't need to sort of worry as much about you know, every sort of couple of months getting a new route out because well, there's other people to do that now as well. Our max operating speeds are 90 miles an hour. This this bit of track here used to look horrible. This is really the worst looking part of the route prior to the update. There was like everything was just, but there was no textures on on the fields. It was sort of just as I suppose they would have painted it in, or it's horrible. That's really nice. Yeah, it was like that, but like all over. About 80, 83 miles an hour now. And we'll start slowing down once we see the power station. Maybe a little bit before, actually. Uh, but the power station, you can now see it for miles. Whereas before, it was like for about half a mile and it would load in. Now you can see it for miles. We're going slightly quicker. We're going about 83 when the 80 started. Yeah, not too far off Long Eaton, and fairly soon we should start seeing the uh, the power station. This is sort of the at the outskirts of Long Eaton, this uh, this bridge. And we sort of, well, we go onto an embankment um, before we come into Long Eaton. So once we sort of start getting on that, we see the power station will start slowing down for Long Eaton. We'll 
slow and start in. Actually, not really. I'm sort of going up a bit. Of course, it's a double yellow. <coughs> That'll be for the approach control coming up to the um, the spur off to the left. So that's sort of a good indication that we're you know, getting close. And the signals also have been changed. They look a lot less washed out now. And you don't get and you don't get double greens anymore. Like you weirdly did get on the uh, on the up fast. <laughs> now fortunately gone. And we should see the power station. Yeah, there it is. Look over there. Just in step one at the minute, which is bringing us down fairly nicely. I'm going to go to step two. Have to pop us down a little bit more. I'll be looking out for the two coach stop mark if there is one. As I've actually been told some stations actually don't have stop markers, which was being living in the southeast is like horrifying. It's like what? No stop markers, but some don't. Up this way. So we'll just go to the end of the platform. Which we should fit in quite nicely here. I think this is about four or five coaches which can fit on here. <coughs> probably, probably a double unit on here, just. Four minutes late. I don't really know how we've lost those four minutes. That might be because of the, at the start. I mean, that was at least a minute or so, but I don't know how we've lost the other time. Just so much better though. Yeah, that's better though. Right, those doors close first, and then the uh, guard will close his or her door. Where's the guard? The guard is at the back door, and it changes every time, which is cool. So as it would, you know, the guard moving up and down the train. They do take quite a while. Have a nice, uh, nice screenshot. Whilst we leave, oh, that looks quite nice, just like that actually. Whilst we leave, long eaten behind. Nice and simple. And the next one along is going to be Attenborough. Well, we do have the red light coming up still. Well, yeah, it should be approach control, but so we shouldn't really assume it's going to be approach control. We've got to assume it's going to be, you know, coming to a stop as it's a red light. But, yeah, but it should, should there. <laughs> there you go. It's now turn. It's 10 miles an hour, uh, really slow going around uh, the corner or the curve. Canal down there. And you've got the other line which joins up. I can't remember where that one actually goes. I remember having a look before. There's the HST. The uh, VP185, that one is. The engine on it. Is it 15 or is it 10? I thought it was 10. Well, 15 miles an hour is then. Uh, it's 10 going the other way though. But that's on the outside, so you'd think that would be uh, a bit quicker. But no. Uh, Yeah, 
there's the power station, which before I don't think you could actually see from here. Or at least it would sort of just about load in. And now you can see it. I oh, know, it used to look a bit like jelly. Yeah, no, you, you could see it before, I think, from here, just about, but it was like jelly. So it looks all a bit funny. But that looks alright. Two stops, Beeston and uh, no, Attenborough, and then Beeston. Yeah, Attenborough, Beeston, and then, uh, then Nottingham. On this nice little uh, surface between Derby and Nottingham. As we go again, it feels really quick. I mean, it's 30, but. Because we've got the head sway on 200% now. So like even like the smallest of things just feels like you go whack right to the side. Felt a bit smoother going across there. Right, let's uh, speed that. Only two coaches to the back of the train. Up to pass the uh, board now. Let's go. Cool. So it's not that far along to Attenborough. Well, we can still get a little bit of speed on us beforehand. It sort of straightens up first. straightening up now so it's not yeah still a little bit of a distance away I usually slow down a bit too early for it this will join up to join up first although it is before that thing comes across there that sort of pipe yeah, you can just about see it coming up now I think there is a footbridge as well oh, I don't think that's loaded in yet yeah, it's before that um, belt comes across. It just hasn't properly loaded in yet. Although we are now coming up to to Attenborough. So there's a bit of treatment plant there on the left, or water treatment plants, whatever that may be. Probably have come down a bit too early again, actually. See the platform. There's also another train in there. Nice signal box there. Our East Midlands train livery. Another EMT 158. I suppose if we were to see a DLC for this route, the most obvious choice would be the Triple Two. Which I feel like we will see in 2024. I don't think it'll be too much longer until we, uh, until we see a Triple Two. Uh, do I stop marker at this one? I don't feel like there is. No, I don't think there is. But we'll go to the end again. Quite a nice little station, this one. Good old Attenborough. That would do. Do the doors. See, the guard one opens first, and then the other ones will open. Oh, should open. There we go. It's interesting how guards differ from uh, for each um, top. And for the ones up. How are we six minutes late? For um, yeah, for the tops up here, the, you know, they get out first. The guard gets out first and checks to see if the platform's clear, and then opens the doors. 
Whereas I say somewhere like Southern, when they used to have guards, the driver would just open all the doors and then the guard would sort of just be responsible for closing them. Where's the guard this time? Oh, they're in the back again, eh? Yeah, oh no, hang on, are they? Yeah, they're in the back. And that one then closes. Little skinny doors of the 158. Beast the next. Look at that though. Almost looks, I mean, it does look real. It's that good now. I've had that a few times though, where I've seen um, like a little YouTube short pop up. And it's like, no, uh, some thumbnails and stuff of other TSW videos. And you think, is that before I've seen the title? I'm like, oh, is that. That's a real train, and I click on it, it's like TSW, it's like, what? You can, you can make the game really, really good at you know, certain times of the day, and certain trains, liveries on. But it can look real. Well, it's sort of screenshot-wise. From Beeston to Nottingham is actually a bit of a distance, actually. Oh my God, what was that for? Level 10 in the 158, there we go. New trophy. Which I've been driving this train quite a lot recently because it's just such. Well, it's on such a good route now. Uh, it's it's enjoyable to play. As I mentioned earlier, before when you played this route, it was a bit like. Uh, it's a bit sort of old TSW looking. It's like. Nah. But now it's like, let's get on the middle of the main line, let's drive it. That update's made a massive difference. And you don't really hear negative things about this anymore. Um, well, this is about, you know, from looking at the servers and stuff, I haven't really seen any comments saying, oh, the update's bad, I don't play that anymore. It's mostly been, oh, I'm back on the middle of the main line now, it's great. Um, you know, taking tons of nice screenshots. So yeah, happy, happy for Skyhook and happy about Skyhook the way they have, you know, addressed all the issues, listened to feedback, and sorted the route out. So uh, good on you, Skyhook. And even changed the ballast colour. <laughs> Hang on, this one did use. Oh, there, there it is there. There's the stop marker, sort of hidden away. Alright, do the doors. I do hope going forward for other UK routes, we do see this type of ballast, as it's a lot more realistic to sort of the uh, the really shiny grey, new looking ballast. I suppose on you know something like on the Goblin line between Barking Riverside and Barking, it's probably going to be. You know, quite new and shiny there, like, like sort of the greyer ballast, but on sort of the older bit, it would be like this old and sort of weathered and coloured. Another one's uh, Great West, yeah, Great Western Express. I think that's sort of the browny sort of colour to it. Or has it? I think so, yeah. And sort of the other UK routes are, well, don't. I don't know how we're seven minutes late. I really don't know how we've lost that time. I don't know if the timings are slightly messed up. Or maybe we are just really slow. Have we got any trains behind us? We don't, no. Not holding anything up, which is good. Let's get that inside. Oh, I'm sort of speeding that up. Onward. 
Hearts to uh, to our final stop uh, of Nottingham. And this train would then carry on to Newark Castle. Don't know how much further that is from uh, Nottingham. I mean, quite a few of them go to Lincoln. I know that's that's on the other side of the East Coast, man. That's Newark must be. Newark can't be that. Well, Newark Castle can't be that much further from Nottingham. So I think in places the East Coast Main Line actually does get quite close to the uh, to the Midland Main Line. Or, yeah, relatively close. Another sprinter coming along, I think. There's another. Yeah, comment below. What do you truthfully now think about the Midland Main Line since the update? Is it a, a yay or nay? Has the update sort of prompted you to well get the route? If you're sort of on the fence about it before. Start slowing down a bit. It does slow down quite a bit actually. Bit of the timings of this service are a little bit tight. It did say 22 minutes, and when I saw that, I was like, "Really? 22 minutes?" Uh. Yeah, I think they're probably slightly off. I mean, I don't think we could, even going slightly, a little bit slower, I don't think we could lose seven to eight minutes. Do you not get the approach control? You used, used to get sort of some sort of approach control here, unless we're just going straight on through. But we still got to slow down there. Yeah, it's usually you get sort of brought into one of the other platforms, but maybe we're just going straight on. Oh no, no, we got a double yellow there, so no, it's just still, still a little bit further. dropping the speed limit then so I think down to 25 and then down to 15 yeah platform 3 it looks like I don't think we are near enough straight on in Position light signal was a little bit scary. <laughs> Why it was uh, red? It was like, oh. And here we are. A nice slow speed into Nottingham. Can't remember if there's any stop markers here. Where does the game want us to stop? Okay, halfway up the platform. Do we have a stop marker for that? I think it's sort of just a job of guess when you're in the platform. Which it looks like it is. So that will do about there, I'd say. Okay, the DRA. Cool. Well, that is going to be everyone uh, for today's. Uh, look at that. It really is nice now. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it for today's TSW video. Hopefully, everybody has enjoyed it. Uh, links can be found in the usual places: Discord, PayPal, merch store. 
past that thanks all for coming in and hopefully i'll see you in the next one see you all take care bye guys Thank you.